What's up, everybody? It is I, it is I, Straight Edge Guy, aka Watch Jeff, back once again with another video. As you can see, I got a webcam now, and yes, this is my very first time using green screen and webcam, so I'm sure it, it doesn't look the best. I know, I know, I'm still working on it, but today I'm doing a little bit something out of the ordinary. Usually I do like Rocket League clips just every once in a while, but I'm actually going to be starting some Spelunky 2 from now on because I'm sure you guys would much rather want to see like full videos rather than just like short clips every now and then um yeah and uh, I did check before I started this recording and it said I have like 200 something hours in Spelunky 2 which is crazy because it just came out a couple weeks ago but uh yeah even though I have played that much, there are still quite a few things that I have not accomplished yet. I have not got to... Well, I have got to level 7, but I have not a... I'm sorry, I'm trying to cook a bomb and get this ghost pot. Yeah, I'm... I'm not going to start off like that. I'm not going to start my very first video with a run like that. I gotta restart, I'm sorry. But, like I was saying though, like, even though I have so many hours into this game, uh, I have not went to, a uh, level 7 and beat that, uh, that I boss, I don't know what his name is, uh, I do not want to stop playing right now and look it up because I don't want you guys just, like, sitting there waiting. That was a really good dodge. I don't want to leave you guys just like sitting here waiting for me, so I'm going to do that on my own time and let you guys know in the next video that I make what the boss's name is because, yeah, it's really going to drive me crazy until I find out, so. Anyways, I have not done that yet. I have not become a ghost and visited the ghost shopkeeper yet. I have yet to do that. And how am I even going to approach this? Uh, I guess just like jump and hope for the best. Yeah, that was easier than I thought. I was worried for nothing. And also I have not a, uh, I have not took the, uh, the bow and the arrow from the, uh, what is it called? The arrow from the sun challenge. I still need to do that and kill the, uh, kill that eye boss that I was talking about with it. Um, and I guess, like, from what I heard from Northern Lion, I guess, like, after you do that, it takes you to another level, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, yeah, like I said, there's still a whole bunch of stuff that I haven't done, so I'm looking forward to all that stuff very much, and... I figured since I still have all that stuff to accomplish, why not just make videos on it because, yeah, might as well, I uh, might as well put content on my channel at the same time while I'm at it, so, yeah, and, uh, a little bit ago I did speak of Northern Lion, make sure you go check him out on YouTube. I have been subscribed to him, I want to say about, like, I could be wrong, I want to say about like four or five years now. So I have been watching him for quite a while now, so I just want to give a shout out to him. I want to thank him for being such like a inspiration for me to start making these Spelunky 2 videos. And I also want to shout out John Sandman. I found him, I want to say like three years ago, two years ago. So, I haven't been subscribed to John as long as I have Northern Lion, but still, like, if it weren't for those guys, I honestly don't think I'd even be making YouTube videos right now, so I just want to say thank you so much to both of them for, for getting me onto this, so, yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping I can start up this whole YouTube thing and 
who knows, maybe eventually just make a career out of it, hopefully. That's what I'm aiming for anyways. Uh, yeah, that sure would be awesome. But anyways, what is our plan of attack for this uh, for this episode? I was really hoping for an altar on this level to sacrifice Monty because I would like to get the Kapala as soon as possible. It looks like there's not really anything up that ladder anyways. I don't even know why I went up there, but I'm trying to find the uh, ghost pot, I guess. Alright, I hear the beating of drums, which means I am on the quill back now, so... Going to see what this is in this crate. Alright, some ropes. Those are always good. I much rather prefer bombs instead, but hey, can't really complain. At least it's not a parachute, right? <laughs> and also, I uh, talk about items on this game. I want to talk about a very underrated item, at least in my opinion. Uh, I always hear people uh, not saying any names. I'm not saying Northern Line does, but I'm just saying like people in general. Uh, basically uh, underrate the uh, I, I really gotta stop saying uh to fill my sentences um, I feel like people in my opinion underrate the compass in this game I really like it just for the simple fact of like you know uh, <laughs> I did it again right there because like it if you're in the jungle trying to find the black market, the compass really comes in handy because if you got the compass, it shows you like two arrows, which means like if you're on the same level as the black market, then that's where the two arrows come in and it is very helpful instead of just like, you know, without the compass, just like having to look up uh, up there in the top right where the Ujedi is and just like trying to keep an eye on that the whole time every level which can get very annoying um, yeah so I feel like the uh, the compass is a pretty good item in my opinion so I am trying to get this ghost pod if I can't get it within the next couple tries I will just go ahead and alright I got it I was gonna say I will. I am at 26,000 right now, so if I didn't get that ghost pot right there, I really wasn't gonna sweat it because usually between the ghost pots and the idols in the jungle, you can get so much money so fast. So I wouldn't really be worried about it if I didn't get it. So we will go ahead, grab that ghost pot. It looks like we do have easy access to Monty right here with a with the altar so I will go ahead and sacrifice him and hopefully just talking about the compass what great timing I really hope there are enough bodies on this level to sacrifice so I can get the Kapala that was a bad first bomb that I just put there but I did make up for it with the second one so it's all good I did see that ghost pod up there. I might as well grab it since I'm right here. And what I learned from Northern Lines videos is he calls them the children of the forest. <sighs> that was so close. I can't believe I was having such trouble whipping that bear trap right there. But yeah, um, what was I even saying? I forgot what I was even in the process of saying. It just slipped my mind, but I will go ahead by all these turkeys and then I can I can bring him back up here to the altar and sacrifice him and hopefully with these three live turkeys it'll be enough to give me the Kapala. I'm really hoping because that would be very nice. 
I'm not sure how many live turkeys it takes to get an item from it, but I believe it's three. Three live turkeys. I could be wrong though. So what is our plan of attack for this episode? Basically just, you know, getting a level 7 and I'm not, yeah, that's not enough unfortunately. I'm not like a, I'm not so focused on getting the bow and then the arrow from, oh I know if I get this hired help that will definitely get me the Kapala. If this monkey will get off my back, that would be nice. I'm gonna bring the hired help up here. I got only not very long until the ghost comes. Uh, 30 more seconds. So I gotta make this fast if I want the Kapala. Hopefully he doesn't die from the spike trap. Come up here please. Nice, he landed right on it too. There's the Kapala. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice. <laughs> All right, so we got the Kapala. We are looking very good right now. But yeah, like I was saying though, like our plan of attack for this one is not really, yeah, I can break the ghost pot right there. I didn't have enough time. It's not getting the bow and the arrow from the sun challenge because I'm, honestly, I'm not that good yet. I mean, like if I, have enough health by the time I get to level 7. If I get to level 7. If I want to do the sun challenge, I'm looking at about like... I'm not as good as Northern Lion or most of the Spelunky 2 players on YouTube. So I am looking for, you know, being around more health than they usually are. They usually go in the sun challenge with about like 9 health, 10 health. I'm looking at around 15 that I want to be at. I know that's kind of a high number to expect by that point, but I just I don't I don't want to take any chances at all, especially it being my very first Blunky 2 video. I wanted to go as smooth as possible, and I can't remember if I ran into a Child of the Forest on this this level. I don't think I did. I could be wrong though. Yeah, I'm not seeing one. Uh, let's see if I can look up. Yeah, I'm looking up in real life as if like that's going to change anything. If that's going to help me at all. I was hoping for like a torch or something so I can like get rid of all that brush over there so I can look on the right hand side. But... While I'm here, I might as well get the blood from this this dude. I'm at 7 health already. Haven't got to the black market yet. Here's the child of the forest. I'm gonna... Alright, good. I did already get it. Just figured I would check just in case. Because I would really... No matter how many bombs I'm at, by the time I get to Olmec, you can never have enough bombs. Like... I'm right there with Northern Lion, like, I love bombs, so, as many bombs as I can get, that is what I love to see. Just gonna try to farm up some more, as much blood as possible before, before I get to my main objective. I had to double check to see if I had paste, I do have paste. Here's our second child of the forest, I believe, yep. I wonder if there's a secret shop in here. Sometimes, nope. Alright, I just wasted my time and yours, so I am very sorry about that. I'm gonna try to get past this dude. This... I really, really hope I don't get a get cursed on this run because that would be very terrible. Try to collect all the blood I can from him. Same with him. I did not get none at all. 
I do see two, uh, two arrows, so that does mean the black market is here on this level somewhere. I think my best plan for this situation is just take the ghost pot and go down this way instead. So I don't get attacked by that boomerang, di boomerang dude. The, uh, yep, I was just going to say that I should be blinking any second now, so it looks like it's more over, where is it? Is it up here? No. It's got to be down, right? Is it down here? I see, it's gonna be one of those like impossible to find black markets. That's great. I'm gonna drop down on this dude. Oh, this is a tough situation. I'm just gonna maneuver around him. Oh no. All right, that was very scary. Just calm down. I could have easily died right there. All right, I see it blinking some more. Is it like right? Oh, it's right there. I saw it blinking. Yep, there it is. No! I'm sorry if I just busted your eardrums out. Oh, oh, yep, and there's the ghost, great. So I need to make this fast, I need to get the hedget, need to run basically through the black market, I don't have time to, oh, okay, I don't even have the money to get anything else, that's great. I was hoping for at least one bomb box, I need a bomb, bomb box! I need to bring the ghost up. Oh, great, now there's two of them. That's fantastic. Let's see if I can get him out of the way. Oh, please. That run had so much potential. I can't believe it. Had the Kapala so early, everything. Great, 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 great. Now I gotta start all over. That's the one thing I do not like about this game is you spend so long, so long getting items and just everything. You spend so much time and everything for your run and just be gone in seconds. It can end just just like that, your run can end so fast. That's the one thing, like I was saying, the one thing I don't like about this game. Because then you gotta start from the very beginning and it is one of the most frustrating things ever in my opinion, so. Going to try to fit another run in. Hopefully this video does not end up being too long. I'll try to make this run faster than my last one, so. We'll see what we can get done. Alright, pretty good first floor. Let's see. Might as well buy some more bombs, I guess. Trigger that arrow trap. Give me some more gems, please. That would be nice. Ghost pot already. Don't mind if I do. Just, yep, that's the main reason right there. I was gonna say I would have dropped down already to the next level, but. I don't wanna break, but I am pretty good at cooking those bombs. Alright, I, yeah, I do not think I can make that from all the way over there, so I gotta use a rope. Yeah, like I was saying though, I would have dropped down to the next level, but 
I just wanted to... Oh, how am I going to do this? I want to make sure the key and the chest were on this level before I went down and had to spend another rope to get back up here. So it's a good thing I did check. I'm pretty sure I already did pass Monty, yeah. The vault is just right there to my right, so it looks like I did. I'm not going to worry about Monty, just going to grab the gem out of the ghost pot and go to the next one. I'm really hoping for more altars like I had on the last one, so I can get another Kapala. If not, that's alright. Um, just so you guys know, uh, hmm. Just so you guys know, if I ever do get the Kapala before I have the choice between jungle or volcano, I 100% go to volcano every single time. Just because of the fact of like the Kapala plus Vlad's cape is like very, very, uh, what do you call it? Like very overpowered. My trick for this situation, if you guys like ever have trouble, you know, like trying to get an idol out of one of these situations, I always grab a throwable and break away the side that you're going to run to. If that makes sense, like, if you want to grab the idol and go to the exit, I always try to make sure I take off the side that I'm running towards, so it is easy as pie. Don't gotta worry about that log coming down on me. If I can grab another throwable, it looks like I can. So I will just go ahead and use the turkey instead. Trigger this arrow trap just in case because I do not want to make a dumb mistake and jump right into it like I had plenty of times before. So, just gonna grab this gen, go to the next one. Easy Monty, might as well. Maybe go over on this other side instead. Okay, dumb damage. Just put Monty right there in his little cubby hole. Time to kill Quill back. Gonna make him open up the the uh, jungle spot. And he just gave me a freeze gun, so look at that. It's so easy. I wonder if the ghost pod is around here anywhere. If not, no big deal. I'm at 37,000 already. Look at that. I have not come across any shops, I don't think. I haven't seen any, at least. Except for that one, obviously, at the very beginning. Where I bought those three bombs, but besides that, like... I haven't had anything to spend my money on, so... I'm not really surprised that we're at 40,000 already. Going into the jungle. I don't gotta worry about looking for the children of the forest because I know there aren't any, like I mentioned before. That would be nice if I had spike shoes so I could step on those spikes right there. I don't even know what to do in this situation. Um, I will bring the bat. I was going to say I'll bring him away, but there's no way to. I was hoping, yep, just like that. I was hoping my whip would get in, so I don't take damage from him. That's some smart Spelunky plays right there. And also guys, like, yeah, I know, you know, like, this is my very first video where I'm commentating and stuff so please don't judge me on my commentating I guess you would call it on my commentating or talking or whatever but 
you know, it's like they say, practice makes perfect, so obviously the more I keep doing this, the better I'm going to be, so it looks like we do have, oh, we got an altar, we have the uh, black market, if I can get this guy on here, thank you, now I just got to find Monty, and then, oh, Monty's in the black market, that's right, he doesn't show up on the actual level. So I'm going to grab the clover so I don't got to worry about the ghost. That would be nice if I could make up enough money to get some more ropes as well so I can get back out of here and get back to that altar. Alright, do that, do that. I want to make sure I still have enough for this. I better grab the hedge before I start buying anything else. I need paste. Absolutely. Do you got? Yep, you got spike shoes. There we go. Oh no! That's right, Monty. I still need to buy Monty. Oh no! I'm gonna have to go and get some more money, and then come back and get him, and then go back through the the entrance where I came into the black market at. What was it, like 4,000 something I needed for him? Alright, now I got enough. Going to buy Monty. Make sure I do not take him to the exit because that would be terrible. I can't believe I'm going to be getting like two Kapalas in a row. Like, in back-to-back -back runs, like, that rarely happens for me, so I'm very excited about that. No, basically I just need to start a... Have I got the Child of the Forest on this run? I don't think I have. Maybe I should check for that before I go to the next level. Grab the Monkey's Blood. Yes, I understand that. <laughs> that does not sound very good. Alright, just taking it one step at a time. There's no Child of the Forest over there. I wonder if it's down here somewhere. Nope. Alright, well... I don't really got time to sit here and look for it. So... I mean, I'll do one quick run through of the whole level, but there it is right there. I just want to check to see, okay, I didn't get it. Good thing I checked. All right, we're at five health, 18 bombs. We got paste and spike shoes and we we're looking good. Need to go back to the uh, the black market and get off this level. Need to hurry up before the ghost shows up because that is not good. I do not want to be stuck here with the ghost, especially when I got all this stuff. Already got 5,000. I could buy more ropes if I wanted, but do I really need them? Sure. I might as well. It probably would have been a smarter idea to buy climbing gloves instead, but what are you going to do, right? Come on, dude, turn around, hurry. Just going to throw you away, going to collect your blood so I can get more health. Got another child of the forest right here. Now I just need to rescue one more and then I got the bomb box on the old mech fight. Just gotta keep collecting as much blood as I can. Yeah, I'm not even gonna worry about that. Alright, this is a bad situation. I'm so glad he didn't pull a bomb. 
off of me and exploded that. Oh, oh no. I'm so stupid. Wait. I did do it right, right? I did find the child of the forest on that one. <laughs> All my runs are starting to blend together. It's hard to it's hard to figure out which run I did that on. All right, that was very very spicy. I got lucky that did not turn out worse. Gonna come down here, try to try to kill that guy good. Get some more blood from Monty. Come on, wake up. All right, thank you. Now I'm going to take him to the exit. And yes, I know, I know. I'm not gonna, f oh. Sorry Monty, you're not going to the exit, you're going to the altar. Getting some royal jelly. All right, now I need to find the last child of the forest, which is right there. Now I'm gonna have the bomb box on Olmec and everything is looking good. I'm checking to see if there's a secret shop in here. Yes, there is. Oh, there's a bomb box. I don't have enough money, though. I don't even know why I came up here. Uh. Yeah, if I really wanted to, I could go back out there, get some more money, and come back in. But, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm sure you guys don't want to see that. Alright, we're on an old neck now, so... I swear, if I would have died right there, if he would have crushed me, I would have been so mad. Alright, we're going to see if there's any crates. I don't see any crates up there at the top. So, just grab our bomb box. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Now just going to wear down Olmec. Bring him down to the bottom. Going to do the speed run strat. I know it saves only a couple seconds, but still, like, why not, right? Alright, this is a stage of Olmec that always scares me. I have died so many times on this stage of him. It does not help that that skeleton came back to life, either. I really hope this... Might as well pick up... Oh, no, no, no! Oh! I'm still alive! Get up! Yep, that's it. Of course. Stuff like that always happens to me every time. Every time. Alright. So, I can never just die, like, right away. It's always just a chain effect. Every single time. But anyways, that does it for this video. And really quick, I want to give a quick shout out to Justin, my coworker friend. What's up? I did make this video, like I said, so I will see you at work tomorrow, and for the rest of you guys, take care. You guys are the fans, and you're awesome. Peace.